Hello everyone. I am Harshita and today's topic is manage policies by expense category in expenses. There are various expense categories like airfare, accommodation, car rental, entertainment, meals, mileage, miscellaneous, per genome, etc. These are the main expenses category you can see in expenses. Now for each expense category, we need to create policy and this policy governs the expense module. Even manager and auditor approval also works around this policies created. When an employee submit its expense report and when the manager and auditor approve that expense report, this policies has to be taken care of. Now there are two types of category based policy. So, so the first one is rate enforcement policy. It enforces expenses to be within specified rate limits and it includes expense category like accommodation, air, meals, car rental, entertainment. And the next type of category based policy is rate calculation policy. It calculates the applicable expense reimbursement and it includes the expense category like mileage. Now, what we will do is we will go to the instance and we will create policies there. So moving to the instance now. Now, after logging to the instance, go to settings and action, setup and maintenance. Select financials. And give functional areas expenses. Now here, show all task. Here you can see manage policies by expense category. Now here you can see already created expense policies. Now if you want to create new policy, so you need to go to create policy here and you can see in LOVs here, there are different expense category available. Depending upon the expense category, you can create your policies like for airfare, you can say, uh, create policy for accommodation, you can create for car rental, for entertainment, meals, mileage, miscellaneous and per genome. Per genome is like a set rate that are reimbursed to employee to cover expenses incurred while they are away on travel. And it uses generally a set rate by government of a country or a locality. So it's like a per day uh, expense category for which you need to create an policy here. So depending upon the expense category selected, you need to create a policy and the fields in that policies also differ like if i will select like uh, accommodation here so you can see that what are the fields coming like policy name description rate type rate currency rate determinants policy inform enforcement right but if you will like select any other expense category here like i'm going for uh, entertainment then you can see that fields are different so it depends it depends upon the expense category for which you are making the policies so fields will also display here accordingly so what we will do we will uh, create one accommodation policy here so moving back to accommodation so here policy name it is uh, displaying you can change this name like i am giving here accommodation 2608 fine if you want to add any description you can add status you can see it is coming draft here once it is completed you need to uh, give a status as active here then only this policy will become activated so right now the status is draft now moving back to other fields is rate definition, rate limit, daily rate is already enabled here. Then rate currency, you want to give multi-currency or you want to give single currency here. So depending upon your policy requirement, you can select that. If you will give multi-currency, then this currency fields 
will get freeze you know no need to get, give any currency here because you are dealing in multiple currency but if you are dealing in single currency you need to give your desired currency here like i'm giving here as usd and then the next is rate determinants so here you can determine your rate on the basis of role if you will select role you need to give role type and the type are grade job position depending upon this rate differs and if you don't want to give role just just disable this checkbox. Then if you want to give rate on the basis of location, you can give location here. And then you need to give geographical location or zone. If you will select zone, you need to give zone type as well. So I'm not giving all this here. Um, if you want, you can have rate determinants as seasonal rate and gender also basis on the gender or seasonal rate rate will rate determines here so right now i'm not selecting anything or else uh, you can select any uh, any um, determinants depending upon your requirement here so okay fine we let's uh, select seasonal rate here for practice and moving ahead here you can see policy enforcement right so reimburse upper limit when expense exceeds defined rate and the next is generate policy violation when expense exceed defined rate. So it is like the, you need to select any one of the following here. Like if, if you will select reimburse upper limit when expense exceeded defined rate, like there is a fixed rate after defined after that only reimbursement starts. And the next is here, uh, generate policy violation when expense exceed defined rate. So you can give a defined rate and when expense uh, is exceeding that defined rate, then uh, the policy violation will be there. And for that, you can select any of this like policy violation warning. If you want to give warning here and you can set a warning tolerance percentage, right? It's what it will do it will generate a warning policy violation when an expense exceed the defined tolerance like if i will set five here so after breaking this tolerance a warning will be given and you can enable this also display warning to user and if you want you can enable this also prevent report submission like if there is an error you can uh, I, like i'm giving here tolerance as five percent so if there is a, any tolerance beyond this level or tolerance level which i have given here then it will also not submit your expense report it will prevent submission of the expense report so you can uh, give your policy or create your policy like in this manner now what you need to do is you need to just save and you will save this create rates will get activated so save this what you have created the version okay fine so i'm giving 10 here the warnings obviously warning should be smaller than the error tolerance so fine just save it here now this is activated just click create rate A spreadsheet is downloaded and by using that spreadsheet you can create your rate like i have selected seasonal rate here so what type of seasonal rate you want you can go to that spreadsheet and you can give that rate there so let's go that go to that spreadsheet and give some seasonal rates there so moving to the spreadsheet now now in spreadsheet you need to give a season start month like i'm giving here start month as january season start day i'm giving first season end month i'm giving december here season end day i'm giving it as 31 day limit i'm adding it here as 10 and start it i'm giving say first jan 22 fine so this is the little bit information which you need to give in the spreadsheet as we have selected the seasonal rate while creating a policy now after adding all this information just upload your rates you can see that valid validation status is valid now now let's go back to the instance and see the rates and then after that we will activate our policy 
So moving back to the instance now. Now here you can see that the policy which we have created accommodation 2608. When we have created it, it was in a status of draft. After we have uploaded the rates, it is coming valid status. Now just select this and activate this policy. So this policy is now activated. Now what you will do while creating your expense template, you can add your policy there while creating expense type. Uh, expense type. Fine. So I'm just quickly navigating there and showing showing you where you can attach your policy while creating template. So this is manage expense report template. Now here, when you will create a new template. Under expense type. When you will create expense type, here you will give the category as accommodation as we have created the policy of accommodation expense type. So it's selecting category as accommodation and clicking on this add icon. Now in drop down, or you can say LOE, you can see our policy which we have created accommodation 2608 and you can give a start date and this is how you can give your policy during creation of expense type in expense template so this is all about the creation of the policy according to the expense category so this is all for today thank you